Hello, people, and I'm sorry the AC is running behind me. I can't help it. It's a hot day. It's like 90 to 90 some degrees already. So the AC is going to run. I mean, it'll cut off occasionally. But and look how I fixed my bird bath over here. I fixed it so the little hummingbirds would appreciate it, and hopefully it won't spray the water out everywhere so fast. But I think the hummingbirds will like it. They always come to that one over there it's behind the sunflower because it has a slower trickle like that. And they can stand on the black platform, the solar panel, while they drink their water. I'm out here now. I'm going to fix two more buckets to plant in because my plans are the next time I go out to Walmart, I'm going to get another 30, 32 gallon trash can to use as a water or compost tea uh, container. So I'm going to use my five gallon buckets to plant in because I've got transplants that got to go somewhere. <laughs> so I've got to come up with some pots. cut off of it to use as my spouts on my buckets because we're so rationed with water here we're limited to watering one day a week so I keep my uh, compost tea containers full of compost tea which is water with you know leaves and things down in it to turn into compost to water another time during the week so anytime I fix a pot to plant anything in. If I can, I try to put a spout in it so it'll either drain into a bucket or it'll drain into another pot and keep that other pot water to try to uh, preserve my water because we're so strict with water rationing so it's hard to keep your plants watered. emptied most of the uh, compost tea out of these five gallon buckets that I'm going to empty. I got two of them over here. One of them that I cut the top of with the chain, I mean with the uh, skill saw that day <laughs> when I was building my cabinet. And the other one, uh, it's only like that deep in compost tea. So I'm going to go over here and water one of my squash plants with it.
just simply going to make a hole. what it is. I got the wrong one turn on. Or I got the wrong uh, cord plug.
if it leaks okay, that's all right. But uh, I'm gonna put tool on the back side of it. And that's just to try to keep the, the uh, hose from getting stopped up. And I need to go get a paper towel to get that stuff off of there. Be right back. <laughs> Got a little bit too big. But I can get my uh, hot glue gun. And you can always get that stuff off of there pretty easily while it's hot. But what I'm going to do is get my hot glue gun. Get my hot glue gun and get it heated up. And then I can uh, tighten that hose, the spout. Now, if you don't live in Texas where I'm at, where it's so extremely dry, you may not need to conserve on your water like I do. So you may not need a spout in yours. But what I try to do is leave a re water reservoir in the bottom. It gets to that point, it'll overflow into the pipe. And then it'll either go into a bucket that I can pour into the con big, bigger containers of the five gallon buckets. Or either I can put another potted plant beneath it. And when I water this plant, it's also going to water the one down below it, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but it helps me conserve on water because I do have a water bill that I pay every month. <laughs> so it helps with that as well. And it's not quite heated up yet. But I've got a couple more buckets I'm going to do. And what I try to do is put them up on a platform, like get them up on a rock that's about that high or something I can put them on to get them higher up than the plant or the pot below it so it can drain into the next one. Now, some of my pots have got holes in the bottom. Some of them have them in the side around here and they just drain in the ground. You can do that as well. It's just totally up to you. You know what your water situation is, what your water needs are, how dry or wet your climate is, and that all depends on how you set up your buckets or your totes. Me, I need all the water conservation I can get. <laughs> It's barely starting to melt now.
And you may not want to put it up on the inside and the outside, this hot glue. I'm just putting a bead around the edge of it. Hopefully to kind of just seal it a little bit. If you don't cut your hole too big, you don't even have to do this. It'll help hold your spout in place too. And when you do the inside, it has, gives something for your tool to stick to. And like I said, it's just to keep your line from getting stopped up. Just kind of dab it around the opening of your pipe. And it'll hold it in place good enough to um, put your dirt and stuff in there if you're careful. See. take you around here and we'll go look at some other buckets because I'm not sure if I want to use those two that green one or if I want to use another one from around here let me go look and see what I got back here because I may want to take one of those other uh, buckets Yeah, because some of my lids are kind of split. Like this one is... And I might want to just keep my green buckets to plant in. I mean for the compost tea. Oops. <laughs> See, that's one of my containers. And the rain almost filled it up. And we'll have to put this camera down somehow. <laughs> it's not going to show you what I'm doing, but... Oh well, got to put it down just for a minute. Pour the compost tea out. And then we can put our lid back on. Put our bungee cord back on it so it doesn't, the wind doesn't blow the lid off. Because we don't want mosquitoes. And that's what that prevents is uh, 
prevents you from getting mosquitoes. This way I can keep my green buckets because I've got several green lids. For compost tea if I need them. So, I'm just going to leave that lid right there. I'm going to take this bucket around there. Because I wanted to do two, at least two of these today. See how I got my uh, tree collared. I've got it setting up here on these blocks. And then I got the spout running into my tomato plant here. And I got to tie my tomato plant up. It's fell over. The wind is terrible here. It keeps blowing my plants over. So I'm going to have to tie my tomato plants up. All of them. The wind's blown them over. Something terrible. And I may even move that one. I don't know. See, that's the good thing about having them in pots. You can move. You can move these wherever you want to put them. And that makes it wonderful. I don't know how my raspberry bush is going to do over this side, but it is blooming. So we'll see what happens with it. If it produces raspberries this year. And see, I put my one of my uh, sweet dumpling squash here at this one. And it really doesn't have drain holes. I mean, it's got drain holes, but I didn't put a spout on it. I've just got it up here. <laughs> so I may move that one somewhere. I'm not sure where. And my cucumbers are growing and growing and growing. I got a first cucumber right down in there. See it? <laughs> it's the first one I've seen so far. It's not big enough to pick, but it's a little cucumber. Well, let's get back around here and fix our spout. Because I got a couple more tomato plants I know I want to put in these buckets, these two buckets I'm fixing. And then I got to get out here and fix my um, my shade cloth that's come down. The wind and hail pulled one cor corner of it loose. Pots are dirty. I mean, these buckets are dirty. Back, this back in the tripod and we'll put the hole in the other one and then I can unplug the I can unplug this hot glue gun in my soldering iron before I burn something with it Thank you. 
burn all the over. Yeah, but be careful when you do this, you don't burn your finger. Because that soldering iron is not forgiving by no means. It will burn. You can go ahead and unplug that. around the spout inside. This puts a net. It puts a net over the hole in there. The pipe, the green, the little hole. Your drain pipe or whatever you want to call it. So it doesn't get clogged up with uh, other debris.
Now we gotta go around. Get this thing up to where I can hold on to it. Get away from this AC running. See how I got those the spouts are coming out of the totes and going into the bucket. And I got to empty those buckets and put them in the big containers so uh, they don't start breeding mosquitoes. But I want to get this over in the shade. <laughs> it's too hot to be over there in the sun. And I got to go in the shed and get out my ladder and whatever else I need to fix my shade cloth. See, I mean, the, the rain did help because it did put water out. But look at this. <laughs> my poor sunflower. It's laying over. I'm going to have to tie it up. So let me get over here. Oh. Put the camera in the shade. See what I can get in the shed to tie my, to my I mean my sunflower up. That wind was something terrible. need something to cut this with. I don't think I can break it with my hands. I'm going to run up to the house and I'll be right back. i got to get a pair of scissors and a knife. It's flattened my lettuce out. <laughs> that wind does a lot of damage. More so than the rain does. But let's see what we can do with this sunflower over here. tie wraps out. I brought my cutters.
It literally turned the pot over. <laughs> Once I tie it, it'll be all right. Tomato plant growing in here. You got tomatoes in there too. And sometimes I don't know if it's good for it to rain on my plants or not. Because look what it's done to my tomato plants. some of the tops off of them. I got this one tomato plant growing right between two cages. So I can literally just trellis them up between the two. <laughs> Makes it makes it easier. Okay, 
help keep those up, and that's got a tomato. I don't know how much. Water is still in the pots from the rain. even help them, I don't know. And my sweet dumpling squash plant doesn't look good at all. I don't think it likes the sun. And I put a, a shade cloth over the top of it for a little bit and it still was looking bad so I finally just took the took the shade cloth off. Going wonky. I don't know, it just didn't go down in the dirt good or something. Look how tall this tomato plant's getting. some of the tops off. little limbs don't need to be drawing moisture from the rest of the plant. So now maybe if we don't get any more storms, my plants will be okay. We'll see. Walking onions are going crazy. But they're not ready to be harvested yet. Those uh, little baby onions aren't. Not quite yet. Oh, it broke this one off. And it's still growing. What I think I'm going to do, look at this. It, it broke this tomato plant off. The wind did. Just popped it right off. I don't think I can get it down. Let's see. There. tomato plant right there and it's still alive but it's barely hanging on 
I don't know if I taped it up if it would survive or not. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it off and stick it down in another pot. I just stick it right in this one. Since it was growing here to begin with, I gotta wash my scissors. But you know you can do that. If they broke off, you can stick them down and root them. Just put them down deep. Hopefully that one will root and that one will grow on up. Broke one of the little limbs too. Yeah, and hopefully that will root. And look at there, I got little ones there. That's not gonna work. These little ones need to be somewhere else. <laughs> See, I always get on something else when I start working in the garden. I'm going to stick these right here. And hopefully... right there <laughs> oh. the other ones over here look okay for now I guess but I didn't realize that one was just completely broke off oops <laughs> completely broke off Let me go rinse the dirt off my hands a little bit. I got to come over here and get the uh, ladder. And I hate to mess with it today, but it's just flapping in the wind and it needs to be fixed. turn this camera I'm going right out there where that shade cloth is and I'll come back and get the camera
Yeah, I'm afraid my bush beans are gone. It looks like they got too hot. They don't like the heat. But my, my pole beans are doing good. They're still climbing the trellis up there. But see, my pole beans are pretty much shot. That heat, they just don't like all that heat. And I know this is not much shade for all the plants. Some of the plants don't even get any shade. But uh, it provides a little bit. have it on there wrapped around the way I thought, I guess. helping some. come off of there that easy this next time. Oh. I can't see what you can see in there. I think I'm gonna need me another piece or two of wire. I'm over here. <laughs> I'm over on this side now. Let's see. This is the side it should be on. Oops. 
got to get... <laughs> Ooh, something on this piece here. I'm going to have to go get another piece of wire. And I'll be right back. And I still got to get out here and fix my watermelon. They're going to be running across the yard. And I'm not going to have that uh, weed barrier cloth put up. I don't know how I'm going to do this. There's rocks. Under there. Come here. <laughs> well, the closer I get to it, the further away it gets. There you go. I need some other kind of Stakes, I guess. And like I said, I don't know how good this is doing. I don't even know if it's doing any good at all. But I know most of the flowers and the plants don't like that hot sun baking down on them all day. They need some sun, but they don't need it constantly, not in this Texas heat. See, it don't even go the way I want it to. I almost need another lead wire leading back this way. Or up there on the gas tank. Huh. Don't know how to do it. work over there. I hate to use my gas tank as a lead wire, but <laughs> hey, you know, if that's all you got. my wires long enough probably not I need my pliers for this I don't 
don't think it's going to reach. Well, it might. Just barely, y'all. <laughs> Just barely. So they got that's got that corner and this corner. <sighs> I need that one over there. And the other line. Let me go see what I can find. I got plenty of wire. I just kind of wish this wasn't here, but it is. And it's as far down in the dirt as it's going to go. If I took this off of here and raised it up, it might not touch that. It might not touch those... Uh, Holes to tear it up. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. We move this ladder. I need a little piece of wire. I had a little piece that fell a while ago. <laughs> and now I don't know where it fell. It was a piece I was going to use. Right now I don't see it. It's kind of hard to see that little wire. Especially when it's a brown, rusty color against rusty color wood down here on the ground. Oh, 
rats. <laughs> And it appears it wants to rain some more. <laughs> Don't know if it will or not. have to remember not to hit it with my head walking through the That'll hold it a lot better than what else I had fixed.
I save all my pieces of wire because I know I'm never know when I'm gonna need them. inside here. <laughs> okay. Kind of wanting to spray outside it. But there, this way my tarp, my, my, my shade cloth is not going to be hitting on my, the top of my stakes to tear holes in it. It will give my plant some shade. And look what it's done to my beets. Now, that hail beat them up a little bit. Look at that. I mean, it didn't hurt them too bad, but you can tell the hail got down in there to them. But there's that other tomato. Volunteer tomato. I have no idea what kind of tomato that is. But you know what? I'm going to put one of it. I don't want it off. I can't get it off. See if we can do it with this wire. I've got some carrots in there that survive, but most of my turnips look like they survive. My arugula is being buried.
I don't know. It's just not working the way I want it to. <laughs> working the way I want it to, y'all. I had my wire cutters right there. That might be strong enough to hold. now to run the, the weed barrier cloth underneath the raised bed instead of underneath and up the sides but oh well I don't think I have enough to do all of this plus I want to do my watermelon with it yeah I'm sweating y'all it's hotter than Hades out here right now And I didn't get to tape my screws up there and my um what did I do with my pole? Oh, I just put them over there, didn't I? <laughs> But I didn't get to tape the, I forgot to tape the screws. And now the screws hang up on the shade cloth and keep it up there. Part of it's hanging down and part of it's up. If it'd stay up there, it'd be fine, but it's not staying up there. It's coming up and down. Like this section here. It's down. That one's up. And it's got some holes in it, but it had a few holes in it before. I just forgot all about taping those screws. And that shade cloth hangs up on the screws every time. I not only got damage to my plants, but look at this. I don't know if you're seeing that, but there's, looked like a piece of hail went through the roof of the greenhouse. It's ripped over here. That's basically the damage that I see. It's kind of ripped here too. So I'm going to have to get some tape and tape some of this up. So let me do that while I've got the ladder out here. Let me go get the tape.
I hear thunder in the background. Whew. Let me move this a little bit. Then I'm going to have to get up there and fix all that. I don't know what to do with all this stuff. I got my hands. But I got to get a drink of water. Whew. It's hot. Little buddy says it's hot. He's down here on the ground. There he is. Whew. Oh. Almost down that bottle of water. Whew. And it's hot out here and you're sweating. I tell you, you gotta have water. And I see something right now that needs to be fixed. I don't know if I can fix it that easy. Little buddy, I gotta put the tripod down, so. But see, I got this trellis for my sunflowers to grow up. And they're out of it. supposed to be in it like that to keep them from some of them are breaking over anyway but that was the whole idea was putting them within that boundary so the wind wouldn't blow them over because I know how bad the wind is on these sunflowers It's total chaos with these sunflowers. They get top heavy and then the wind blows on them. And it just blows them over. You see, those should be under there, not out. I don't know if I can get them under there without breaking them. Don't want to break them off. They are a little bit given, but they will break. You bend them too much. Maybe if I just tighten this up. And there's mosquitoes out here. All this rain brought mosquitoes. left in that hose that it was dripping and it was bugging me. That looks a little better. Not much.
Need to get a piece of wire and put on there. To hold it up a little. I think my I think my um Sunflowers look better last year than they did this year, but at least these here. But they were getting a lot more compost tea last year than this year because we've been getting so much rain. I've not really had to put compost tea too much. hold it a little Whew. now what else was oh the tape we got to get the tape put up there hopefully we'll get the tape put up there and take care of that before it rains again it's not going to look good but it's about all I can do That might work until I get up there on it. <laughs> and it might fall fall over on me. I can't get it to the other side, I don't think. Well. I don't know if y'all can see anything but my backside. Oh man. How about over there? See my backside in the top, maybe. <laughs> this gas tank's in the way, so I can't get over to the side of it.
starting at the very top too. And I can't get to it at the very top. Oh well, these things were not made to last forever. Sometimes you think they be made to last longer than what they do. But we had some pretty big size hail that fell. So we were bound to get some damage. I'm surprised we didn't get more damage than what I've seen. And that's not going to hold it too long, but it'll hold it for a while. And this is not very good tape, so <laughs> I don't know how long it'll hold. It's probably not going to make it through the winter, I mean the summer. We expect these things to at least last for a summer. need Gorilla Tape on this, not this. This is just regular duct tape. <laughs> that Gorilla Tape is even tougher.
hold it for a while. Now I'm gonna have to oh, move this ladder around this way. I think to get to the rest of this. And I can move the camera somewhere else. Little buddy. He keeps walking under the tripod. Yeah, but I've got all kind of damage. My poor lettuce is laid over. The wind blew so hard. I don't know if any of that's salvageable or not. Where is my water bottle? What did I do with it? I don't even know. Oh, there it is. There's my water bottle, little buddy. Whew. I need to sit down for a minute. <laughs> I still got more to take right there. Oh. Oh. I got to pretty soon get me another ladder. This one's getting a little bit wobbly. I'd love to get me a, an aluminum ladder, maybe a five foot or six foot aluminum ladder. But I mean, the wooden ones works great. I've had this for many years, but, and it's still holding up pretty good. But it is getting a little wobbly. <laughs> but it's still okay. Yeah, it's just ripped all the way, this whole front end of it. I think what I'm going to have to do is like I originally started to do, is get some wood one by twos or one by ones or something like that. And frame it up and put me some clear panels. clear panels on it or something, not just this plastic stuff. I don't know, it's just an idea. It's what I thought about doing last year, but I didn't. I ended up with this new cover, so I decided to go ahead and use that. It's got so much dust on it, this tape's probably not even going to stick good. Once the hot sun hits it, it probably will.
This was the worst part of it right here. Usually it's either too cold or it's too hot to use the greenhouse anyway. Unless it's in February. <laughs> there all the way over this might be just a waste of time taping all this Like I said, it's coming apart in the middle, too. So, I don't know. Maybe just wasting my time and wasting tape. Oh, Lordy. Need a good shower. I'm so sweaty and it's so hot. <laughs> oh, I got a good hole over here. I didn't realize it was in such bad shape. if it's going to stick. It's so dusty up here. Oh, I banged my thumb. It hurt.
This is crazy. Sticking to my fingers. Be splitting there before long. Right there. <laughs> yeah. It's literally melted to it. This will be gone by the end of the summer, this plastic cover. It's not going to last longer than this summer. I already tell that. It's already just about gone. It's already terminal. We split at the bottom. I got grass coming out and split. Whew. And you can't see what I'm doing down here. It's split all the way down to the bottom. On the other side over there. having to tape it all the way down. But like I said, I don't know if it's worth it, except that I got my stuff in there. Oh, shoot. Now the tape is gonna split on me.
Oh, I think it's a waste of time, y'all. I really do. We'll take this one other space, I think, and then I'm going to be done. I really think it's a waste of time anyway. It's almost too far gone. That sun gets too hot on it. You know? <laughs> it's literally melted to the metal pieces here. That plastic is. Melted right to the metal. I don't know how I'm going to get up there to tape the top. I don't think I'm going to worry with it. Like I said, I think if I do anything else to it, it's going to be to um, take the plastic off and put a frame around it and see if I could put, put something else up there other than plastic. But it's literally melting to the, the sun is melting the plastic to the metal is what's happening. I thought by leaving the door open it would help keep it cooler in there. And with the hole in the top, but I tell you, you don't know how hot and intense the sun is in Texas. This sun is hotter than any sun you have ever imagined. I'm going to try putting my uh, ladder up. And then I'm going to go over here and show you my lettuce. My poor My poor lettuce looks awful. <laughs> it was looking real good when I first moved it. But now, that wind and the rain got to it. Look at it. It's all bent over, so I'm going to have to harvest whatever's any good and let it grow back. Because that hail and heavy rain and wind just almost destroyed it. And I gotta fix these. These tomato plants.
the plants outgrow a mistake. And the same thing's happened over here. I got a tomato plant right there that's the wind has blown over. Might let it do like this so I can go get something to stake it up with. And this one, oh my gosh, it looks like it's broke. Look at It's going to break and it's not going to survive if I don't quit messing with it. But it's broke, y'all. It's bent. But it still may survive if I can keep it upright. best I can do for right this minute. I'm going to have to get some more twine and come out here. Still redo this one. because the next time the wind blows, it's going to blow that down. And there's more of my chives. I thought I had gotten all of those, but I guess not. I got a whole baggie full of them, and I got to harvest my Egyptian walking onions pretty soon. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and get some kind of a cord from the house. And I'm going to go ahead and stake up those tomatoes. I know I've got my scissors out here somewhere, <laughs> if I can find them. <laughs> I don't know where I left them. <laughs> so let me go see if I can find my scissors. Thank you. 
I got some cotton twine here I can put on. Try to fix this whole thing like a little um, 
cage so it'll grow up and through in it, not over it. And there's another one that broke. I'm just going to stick it down in there. It'll root, hopefully. all over my yarn. I didn't want to do that. <coughs> didn't want to do that. Where to put it where it's not going to get dirty. Get over here and do this one, maybe. I hope I'm not boring, y'all. But my poor plants do need to be. Fixed or they're gonna just fall over and die.
hoping this one doesn't die. It doesn't make it, hopefully. Mosquitoes are biting. Just enough to keep it from slipping down any further. when you got yarn around <laughs> and a few tomato steaks you can trellis your tomatoes somehow that a little bit longer. Oh well. <laughs> Live and learn. I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> I think I got all my tomatoes staked up that need staking for right now. 
I guess the other ones are okay. My cucumbers are okay. Tomatoes seem to be okay on this side. Oh. One more around here and then I'm done. I'm done for today. I'm tired. I'm thirsty. I'm hot. Ugh. Did just what I didn't want to do. That's my yarn for crocheting and stuff. <laughs> and here I am throwing it in the dirt. Fix this so it'll stay up there. <laughs> I can't hold on to it. Tied down. Oh, I didn't want it that low. What am I thinking, y'all? I wanted it up there. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting too tired, is what it is. Getting too tired. Wanted it up about there. So you can take these uh, tomato steaks and make your own cage out of it. That's about where I wanted it.
can make that look a little bit neater though. There. That's about all. I think I can do to these. <laughs> now if you can see, I'm on this side. But my to poor tomatoes took a beating, y'all. They took a beating. That wind was something awful. There. That'll help that one. There's not much else I can do to this because it's growing out the top of the trellis. I may have to break it off. Cause it to fill out instead of grow up tall. Kind of scared me when I saw all my leaves start turning. But that's about all I can do for one day. Oh, no, here's another one. Oh my God, is it never ending? Is it never ending, y'all? I got dirt on my face. <laughs> Camera died on me again, y'all. I might be running out of memory or something, but I'm not done with my tomatoes here. Look at that. It broke that one off. And it had tomatoes. It had tomatoes, y'all. it wouldn't have so I'm just gonna stick it down in here and let it root it, it'll put out more tomatoes
try to keep it from breaking on this side, maybe. I think that's pretty much got them. Need to come out and get the weeds out of my garden. But like I said, I think that's about all I can do today. I've pretty much fixed all the damage well I got my <laughs> I got my cucumber vine growing crazy over here growing over on my it's growing over on my compost tea container I don't know what possessed me to plant a cucumber there but I did with a tomato plant and there's another vine I'm just going to try to keep them going up the trellis Hopefully it'll work. <laughs> like this other little cucumber right here beside it. That's a, a cucumber vine right there beside the green bucket. This one. That's the cucumber vine, y'all. It's got little cucumbers. Got several little cucumbers at the top. They were about to get too much water with all this rain we were having. I don't know where they're going to go from. the top up there <laughs> but that's the way I do I experiment and see if stuff works Hopefully they'll climb. Right on up. And then I don't know where they'll go from the top. <laughs> they'll have to start going back down, I guess. Have no idea. Oh well, I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> I can't do any more. I've done all I can do for one day. I've done all the damage. Done all the damage. I've got to go <laughs> Ooh, get something to drink, cool off, take a good shower, shampoo my hair. And I needed to empty those buckets, but I'm too tired to do it right now. That'll probably have to wait till tomorrow if we don't get more rain. But anyway, I'm going to call it a day. I hope y'all didn't get storm damage where you're at. 
I didn't get too much. I mean, it wasn't too bad, but, you know, it could have been a lot worse. But, like I said, some of my tomato plants broke. Some of them were laid over, so I did have to restake them up. But, yeah, it could have been worse. So, y'all, I'll see y'all on my next one. Y'all have a good night. Love y'all. Bye.